Hey my hello to the one who's watching this video and I'm back with a new topic. The topic that I'm covering today is how to find inconsistent formula in Excel as part of a financial model audit or financial model validation exercise. Uh, to begin with, I have a financial model in front of me and my task here is to ensure that the model is free from any error. Now, the most uh, traditional and uh, common approach to validate whether the model is free from any error, arithmetic accuracy is, is in place, logical integrity is intact is to go cell by cell and uh, see whether everything looks all right. However, so right now in front of me, I have a model where there are, let's say, around 10 columns, but model which span over 40 years and you have quarterly financials. So you may be looking at uh, 500, 600 columns. So to deal with this challenge, Excel has uh, certain uh, built in formulas which can make your life easy. So we are going to go through those uh, audit tools one by one and uh, see how we can use them. All right, so the first formula that we are going to look at is go to special function. Okay, to begin with, I am reviewing the revenue and revenue growth. Now I'll tell you one thing. Uh, if you go cell by cell, you will see that the revenue is projected on the basis of the projected growth. But uh, all of a sudden in year eight, you will see a hard coded figure. Then in year nine and year 10, it looks fine. Now, like I can, I can go cell by cell and uh, figure out this one. But uh, as I said, we are going to use the inbuilt tools and see if the if there are inconsistent formulas. So we are going to take help of our go to special function. So a different way you can uh, reach to go to function. The first way is uh, go to home, go to find and select, and click on go to special. So this is what we need. Uh, the another, other way is control and G. Then you have to click on special. You will reach to the functions. And uh, the third way is to press F5. As soon as you F5, uh, press F5, you will see this window. Then you have to go to special and you will reach to this window. Now, uh, the first function that we are going to use is the row differences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first select the row. So I've selected the row and then I click on row differences. So when I pressed OK, it has highlighted 650. I can simply highlight this and uh, see what is inconsistent over here. So I can see this is a hard coded figure. I'll go back and let's say uh, in year five as well, I have a hard coded figure and I will again use the same function. So control G special and then I'll click row differences. So as you can see, the formula has highlighted two cells uh, in year five and year eight. All I'm going to do is press highlight button, any color you can choose and then you can manually see what is wrong with this cell. So as you can see, there, there are hard coded numbers. All right. Similarly, I can select all the rows and look for inconsistencies. So I'll select uh, my whole uh, PNL and then go to special row differences and press OK. So it has highlighted certain cells for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to again highlight it and see what is wrong. So if you see it's all hard coded figure looks fine, but all of a sudden there is a formula based number which looks inconsistent. Uh, the other highlighted numbers are on the basis of the inconsistency across row seven, row 10 and row 13. We have to, we have to investigate it further what is the inconsistency? So if you look at this, uh, basically this 5% instead of hard coded is linked. Uh, this is basically all hard coded. However, it is not consistent with uh, th this figure at the bottom. Uh, okay, so if you look over here, this 10%, 7% is linked to the top. This 6% is hard coded. Other than that, it's all linked to the top. If I'll go over here, 
it's it's calculating ebitda margin on the basis of the ebitda and the revenue right but uh, let's look at this highlighted okay so instead of being linked to uh, j it is linked to d and that is why it is highlighted okay so you can see uh, this makes so easy for you to identify inconsistency or uh, error in uh, just one go instead of going cell by cell so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unhighlight it and uh, we will go to the second function uh, that is part of uh, go to special itself now what happens is that normally what you do is when you validate a model you look at the first formula second formula and then you assume that uh, anyone who has built the model is basically build a formula in one cell and and then copy paste it uh, for rest of the cells however you could see the hard coded figure let's say i have to look at for any hard coded value okay i'm going to select the sheet go to the special function select constant and select the numbers because i'm looking for numbers here the cell which contains numbers press okay it has highlighted certain cells for me okay this 10000 is supposed to be hard coded this is supposed to be hard coded so i'll hard code this this is supposed to be hard coded this is supposed to be hard coded all of these number are supposed to be hard coded this is not supposed to be hard coded now i can basically see that uh, it is calculated on the basis of a formula and is inconsistent right over here all of these number are supposed to be uh, on the basis of uh, formula however i have a highlighted figure here it is a hard coded number which it should not be uh, this is a hard coded figure there is some inconsistency issue over here this is supposed to be hard coded it is fine this is supposed to be hard coded it is fine this is not hard coded so what i'm going to do is copy this and paste it over here now it is all hard coded so this growth is basically coming from the top and supposed to be uh, you know linked however over here it is hard coded it means it is inconsistent other cells are fine uh, this 20% tax is supposed to be hard coded it is fine right so this is one way to look at the hard coded figures this is how this function can make your life easy instead of going cell by cell you can just look at the hard coded figures and see whether it's supposed to be hard coded or on the basis of a formula okay i'm going to again do control z so we have covered two functions so far by the way uh, within the go to function there is uh, one more uh, function that could be quite useful that is within constant you can look for the errors okay i'll perform a calculation in order to get an error okay this is coming from balance sheet now let's say i'll make some tweak i'll multiply by let's say d okay there is a name error over here i'll go back there is a name error right now let's say if i have to look at the error errors in the sheet what i can do is i can go to special go to formula and uh, click on errors let you see and then highlight it now uh, what this function can do is highlight all the errors for me so this is again a function that is quite useful i will do control z get back to a list of tools that we have looked so far okay so the third tool that we are going to look at is the the formula auditing tool okay so all you have to go do is go to formulas and you have uh, three functions over here trace precedent trace dependent and then remove errors okay let's see how you can make use of this functions so let's say if i want to see how this 140 is being calculated what i can do is i can trace precedent through two arrows you can see how this is being calculated 140000 is being calculated based on two variables first is this variable second is this variable if you go to the cell press f2 you can see that uh, this is being calculated on the basis of this number and this number similarly you can trace the precedent for year 3 year 4 year 5 all right 
So as soon as I have clicked on this cell, I am getting this pop-up. The trace dependent command requires that the active cell contain a formula which includes valid references. It means it is a hard-coded figure and there is no precedence, right? So I can highlight this as a error or inconsistent formula. Similarly, I can go to the other cell. All right, the same error over here. I can highlight it and then do for the rest of the cell. Okay, looks good. Uh, now let's use the trace dependent formula. So what I can do is, uh, first I'll remove the arrows. You can, you, you can press to remove arrows. And then what I can do is I can click over here and see the dependents. So basically the dependents is so basically this 20,000 is being calculated on the basis of uh, the revenue as well as the revenue in growth year one. Now I'll tell you how I, make use of the trace dependent. Uh, let's say you have uh, a number in the Excel. Okay. So you have a hard coded figure over here. Now let's say this 10,000 is basically linked to this cell, right? Okay, let's say I'm going through the model and saw this 10,000 in cell O15. Because there's no heading, there is no particular, I may think it as a redundant figure and simply delete to clean the model. However, if you might have noticed, there is a change in value over here. So before deleting, what I can do is I can just simply see whether this number is flowing in the model or no. I can click on this cell and then go to trace dependent. Now I can see that this cell is linked to this cell, right? So what I can do is I can put a comment, do not. delete so that the user knows that this value is flowing somewhere. Now to identify hard coded figures, the last function that we can look at is the show formula. So in the formula tab, what you can do is you can uh, go to show formula. You can, you can see the formulas. So you know that all of these uh, values are supposed to be hard coded and these are hard coded. However, from row D to row uh, let's say uh, M, you know that they are all supposed to be formula based. However, you can see that uh, over here, uh, it is a hard coded figure instead of formula. So in a glance, you can identify whether the formula are not hard coded figure. However, in terms of identifying the hard coded figure, I think uh, the other formulas, the go special formulas that we discussed are more robust. Okay, with the show formula, we have finished are four uh, tools and techniques, inbuilt functions that could uh, help you to uh, identify inconsistent formulas in Excel. So I hope uh, as always you had a great learning session and I see you the next time. Thank you so much.